Hello everybody and welcome to this Gameplay Glimpses video of Star Trekker. So Star Trekker is a game developed by Monster Monster and published by Raw Fury and is due out at some point this year, hopefully not too far in the future because it does look really good. And it seems to be very closely based on an old sci-fi movie called Space Trekkers, which is a really good movie so I suggest you watch it. So uh, <clears throat> this is the first time I've played this game. Let's get into the demo. I've turned the background music off, even though it sounds awesome because, you know, the MCA reasons, but uh, here we go. Sorry about that, we missed the beginning of the audio because for some reason, audio messed up. So get out of your comfortable seat. How do I do that? Um, <laughs> exit seat. Okay, okay. W A S D. You know, your regular movement controls. Put on your spacesuit. Spacesuit. Okay. A, energy. Pop outside to make a repair. So do we... Ah, here we go. Press button on the airlock. Close door. Did you remember to equip your suit? Yes, we did. Ah, so we have, um... Some EPA controls here. Nice. We have a hull brunch. Brunch? We have a hull breach. <laughs> Friend, if we roll, we can roll, nice. Yeah, these controls feel really good. Okay. Nice, we patched up the hull, good and proper. Speed limit 150. That's miles per hour. Probably about right for a spaceship, I guess. I love how this looks like a proper, like, truck, like a road truck. But if you do watch the movie Space Trekkers, you'll see like how similar these are. Oh, there's another hobby trip here, okay. Oh yeah, it says up in the corner. <laughs> it's that. Hobby number two. Ta-da! Take a load off. Return to the airlock. Recharge your suit. Take the driver's seat. This will be the fun part, eh? Um, open door, close door, return suit. There we go. Back to the driver's seat. Do you know, it's, it's a lot bigger on the inside than it is the outside, isn't it, this track? At least it feels that way. I wonder if there's going to be, like... So we've got core systems, maglock controls, gravity compensator, oxygen generator, suit charger, climate regulator, shock shielding. They all have these like status lights here. And f switches? I'm guessing you can sort of like rip uh, turn these off individually if you have a power crisis or maybe if you have to repair them, you have to turn them off first. This could be quite in depth. Pick up UCC. You'll leave that for a minute because it's not told us to do it just yet. Okay, press space to accelerate using the main thrusters to brake and reverse press shift. Okay, use WASD to fire maneuvering thrusters and turn the truck. Use Q and E to roll left and right. You can switch to an external view by pressing C. Okay, so space is accelerate, shift is to slow down. Run away. The Ramirez drones are busy fixing it as we speak. I reckon by the time you reach it, they'll have it up and running again. Okay, so put on some music optional, but we're not going to do that just in case it's DMCA protected. Drive to the jump gate, activate the jump gate, and the trailer we have is clothes packs. Okay, so we have our. Do we have to hold shift down then, I wonder? How cool is that? That's awesome, baby. 
So if the tra trailer is attached with some sort of maglock thingy. So power cell. Ah, oh yes, yeah, so we have power cell status. The drain per hour. Okay. We're here. Don't know what there. Jump gates allow you to move between locations within the galaxy. With your truck correctly aligned, the gate will automatically power up. As all gate lights are green, use the lever above to make a jump. Okay. This lever. Go! My current time is 1905. Quite good. So W is to go pitch down, S is to pitch up, and of course A and D are left and right. Bill looks good. There's a, a light on there, which I don't know what it means yet. Do these switches work? No, not yet, anyway. There's a demo, it might work in the future. Drop zones. Drive your cargo to its designated drop zone to complete a haulage contract. The drop zone will change colour to indicate the trailer is within the safe area. Okay. I suppose we don't really want to go too quickly. Well, we seem to be... Breaking seems to be quite good. It's cool we got a mirror. Nice. I'm guessing this will um, cycle over to a mirror too. Oh, we got track status. Awesome. System diagnostics. The shock shielding is malfunctioning. And there's our. Uh, we got a front camera. Left camera. Right. Uh, we got a few cameras to choose from. Nice. up a little bit. Oh, Z is to zoom. Nice. Just keep going till this turns uh, a different color. Okay, turn off your truck's magnetic lock system to unhitch from trailers. This can be done using the maglock lever inside the cab. Make sure the entire trailer comes to a stop within the highlighted area or you won't get paid. So you want to make sure we come to a complete stop. There we go. And hitch. Nice. One hop start a hole. Started. A standard delivery of the clothes packs to <coughs> Dear Swift Logistics in Alice Prime. I'm taking 12 minutes. Distance travel 26 miles. We will use 352. And some nice experience points and some dollar. And we're almost ranked two. Great job. Okay. There's Palmview Station. Do we do we have to go in the lane? I guess we do. Head to Palmview in Alice Prime. Off the pay three. I love the proper radio chatter too. There is this three miles. CB radio. Interact with fellow truckers by using your CB radio. If you see this symbol, pick up the mic. Hold right mouse button to view a list of responses, then press 1, 2, or 3 to select a reply. Oh, it's just a coffee break, Eddie. Ain't no one out here with us anyway. Oh. Like the newcomer made it across harmonics in one piece. We 
did. Um, not yet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Use the docking system. Use the docking camera to align your truck with the docking bay. Maneuver close enough and, maglo and the maglock system will become available. When you're in position, pull the maglock le mag lever to lock up the target. I crashed the truck already. <laughs> driving offences. Looks like you just received a penalty for a driving offence. Penalties vary in severity based on the offence committed. <laughs> it's a good start, right? This includes careless driving, collisions and failure to engage with authorities in an appropriate manner. We really need to slow down. stressors so when you press shift you'll come to a complete stop if you're moving forward and then you press it again to start moving backwards is good to know this is the one directly behind us now We got this, we got this. Totally botched this, haven't we? We might be lucky. We might get in. So, job boards provide a list of contracts available in the local area. As you earn certification skills, the list will expand, giving you access to new job types and cargo to haul. Keep in mind that bonuses and deductions will differ between job types and harsh penalties will be issued for abandoning hauls or cancelling jobs. Got it. So we got a couple of jobs. Do we want to do a rush delivery? Because I feel like we'd mess that up. What about the... what's the pay on this one? $300. Ooh, six hundred dollars a special delivery. Um, expected by Feb eighth, nineteen thirty-two. Let's give it go. Oh, it's like a proper contract. <laughs> I love it. The freight contract is entered into as of the eighth of the second, twenty twenty uh, thirty twenty-three. Newstar Company and Viceroy Driver, collectively referred to as parties. Okay, so we're not gonna. I'm not going to read the whole contract, but I'm sure it's fine. There's, this can't be anything bad in this, right? Okay. So, um... Pick up rail scraps from Bay PBS1. So where is Bay PBS1? over there okay we're not gonna go speeding into this one you gotta be careful with our driving <laughs> 0 0.7 miles away to the pickup oh, there's another truck there I wonder if that's another player or just uh NPC track or decorative track Things 
scan. I wonder what that is. Turn off left thruster. Turn off right thruster. Turn off system alerts. Turn off rear thrusters. Okay, I wonder why you do something like that. Maybe again, it could be like a repair thing. Might be completely wrong. We'll find out together, folks. <laughs> okay, we're doing 40 miles an hour. Probably shouldn't go too quickly. Okay, there's the cargo. So if we start slowing down, we're going to turn ourselves around, don't we, and hitch up to it. I think we can hitch up from this side. We'll see. Okay, so if we start turning around. Start going backwards. Looking good. Looking good. Hitching to trailers. Switch to your docking camera and approach carefully. Once you're within range and align correctly, use your maglock lever to hitch to the trailer. Oh, we got this. We got this. We're at a little bit of an angle. Hopefully that won't be an issue. We're dead on target. I think we're doing okay. Low power. Power levels seem low or exhausted for one or more of your truck's systems. Be sure to replace power cells at regular intervals to prevent system failures, job delays, and death. That second one being quite an important one. Okay, so we'll just hitch up to the trailer and then we'll um, sort out the, the power issue. A little bit more. Cargo approach authorized. How close do we have to be? we go. Right, power cells. Let's sort this out, then we can get going. Um, power cells. So that looks like a power cell. Um, what do we do with it? Where's it going? In there? Nope. Maybe? No. Okay. It doesn't go in there. That goes up into there. The plastic tub is on board for some reason. It's not going backwards. No, we're okay. It's just the engine idling. Right. How do we do the power cell thing? Climate control. Ah, right, okay. Um, suit charger. Air filter compartment, air filter compartment. Nope, they're both good. They are both good. This system is low on power. Oh, we have a bad one if we can sleep to pass the time. Oh, maybe we can. What system? I can't see any systems that are low on power. Oh, more power cells. Um, it's, it's probably the shock shielding, but I don't know where the power cell goes for that. Shock shielding. There's probably people shouting at the screen right now saying, you've looked at it three times already. <laughs> and I probably have. They're all air filter compartments. They're nothing. That's nothing. Do we have to go outside the ship to replace it? Maybe we do. Let's try outside the ship. Um, drop power cell. Just in case. Might be completely wrong here, but we'll see. I'll probably find you eventually, right? This is just a ship inspection. It's totally planned. Believe me, right? No 
Okay, so there must have been something on the inside of the ship. Which we've missed. I say we, which I've missed. Turn to the track. Okay, so we're going to leave that for now. We'll probably come across it. Oxygen panel, climate control panel. Suit charger. I'm probably being blind. Yeah, it's probably fine. Whatever the shock shielding is, you more than likely don't need it. Okay, so go to sector Medusa 6. We can't waste too much more time because, uh... Uh, probably get there. Artificial gravity. It looks like your gravity compensator is offline. Movement around your cab will be impacted and damage is likely to occur to coolly stowed items. Yes, we're probably... Oh, crap. Ow. Probably fix the gravity compensator. <laughs> Off and on again. <laughs> we must have seen something there like somewhere. What that's for? What is this? No idea. Right. Gravity compensator. Hey, come in with me, battery. That's my Glock. This was core, wasn't it? So they both okay. The green status lights on them. They both got green status lights too. How do we fix it? Air filter seems fine. And if we carry on flying, I imagine that's going to end badly. Just skip to me finding it because I'm sure you lot don't want to see me fumbling about trying to find this thing. <laughs> you like literally look under the hood. Could that be a thing? That's probably not a thing. Well, we've still not found it, so we're just going to carry on for a minute. <laughs> We get to Medusa 6. Could be the terminal over here. The signs. Six is up there. Oh crap. But we do need to fix the artificial gravity. <laughs> Let's get going. Probably gonna run out of time with this contract. <laughs>
1.2 miles away from Medusa 6. What's that mean? I wonder. Debris? Service manual, nice. Medusa 6 jump gate alignment. Stop your track at a suitable distance and the jump gate will power up. If you're having trouble, make sure you're facing towards the gate and use the stop signs to align yourself. Remember, gates between zones and some sectors will stay inactive until you get clearance from the IV. Can't stop the track. <laughs> We've lost all power. Four systems. That's not good. Batteries. Oh, we're doing well, aren't we? <laughs> oh, wait, what's under there? I wonder if there's a way to move the stairs. We'll get to that once we get main power back online. <laughs> it's all going wrong. There we go. Is there a way to move this? Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> Probably got booted in the face then by those steps. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Imagine this might be the gravity generator. Yes. And there's gravity. All this stuff in the cockpit. Right, let's get through this jump gate and then we'll sort this crap out. <laughs> We're definitely missing this pickup. So, power management is very important in the game, and it was under the steps. <laughs> but now all the systems are back online. We are fighting chance. Here we go. Oh yeah. 
a janky jump, but we did it. <laughs> Welcome to Medusa Six. This is an automated inspection checkpoint. Please be patient while we check for compliance with local regulations. Okay, please come on. We're already late for our delivery. Check complete. Results Thank you. Satisfactory. Have a great day. I drop off. Rail scrap in the bay MSS2. Now where is that? <laughs> I thought it was over there, the drop zone. But we're not going to the business hub, so we're just gonna cut across here. Flying over there, let's get clear up this cockpit a little bit. This cab. Some of this stuff we can't reach. <laughs> okay. Let's finish this delivery and then we can tidy up the track. Imagine as you go on, you can like upgrade the engines and stuff to be more powerful. We change the layout of the track, maybe even buy new tracks. I imagine that's a thing. So drop zone, no point five, six miles away. And we're late, we're very late. So what's the drop off time? Um, yeah, slow it down. Perfect, but it's probably do. Okay, yeah, late delivery. We lost $37 for late delivery, but it's not too bad. We got a bonus for careful driving, so a thousand experience points. Nice. Rank two. Ooh, almost rank two. Three. Oh, skill points, okay. Available just in time jobs, or we can unlock fragile loads. Hmm. Fragile because we're cable pilots. As the name implies, these loads are delicate and any damage to the cargo will result in substantial deductions upon job completion. However, fragile loads are a great money maker for careful drivers with a nice bonus for cargo delivered in pristine condition. Each level of certification will give you access to increasingly delicate cargo types. Okay, I'm happy with that choice. Convoy. Ooh. Jobs. We just did this one. Side jobs complete the demo. <laughs> oh, there is a map, okay. Skills and cargo. So map. I wonder if we can use this to like set course for places. Okay. Right, for a moment then. Let's finish cleaning up the uh, the cab. Climate regulator is uh, not functioning correctly. <laughs> so many boxes are just flown all over the place. Just getting out of our way for a sec. Carrying so many things. Okay. We, we can't reach that. That's going to be an issue. Um, so we have a fully charged power cell. It's going to be very useful. Can't reach that. And we have a cardboard box. Because who doesn't carry a cardboard box? Oh, 
the power box is actually full, if anything. Come on, you can fit. Nope, get in there. There we go, close enough. So climate regulator. Have one of these on the back, it is. So we need a uh, UCC chip for that. It looks like your cab circuit breaker has been tripped. This is likely the result of an EMP or the incorrect removal of a UCC while a system was still... Ah, okay, yeah, but Spot, you should have tripped the circuit breaker first. Trip systems will stay offline until you're manually reset at the circuit breaker. Okay, so we got everything is now up in here again. Did our replacement UCC go? <laughs> this isn't a good start, is it? Um... Maybe we can grab this now. Or not. Micro stabilizer. Power depleted power cell. Anything in this we need? No air filters. We did have a UCC somewhere, didn't we? It was on the bench there. Then everything floated away. That's the broken one. Ah, nope. That's broken one too. It's gonna be a cool box, but we need to. He's gonna be in here. Perfect. Please tell me it's a dream. Let's fix this and turn the truck back on. Don't know where that is to fix it yet, but we I'm not gonna worry about that yet. levels are looking okay. So we should try to go into the Medusa business, huh? Fucking camera. Think we might get away with this? Let's see. And that's it for this Gameplay Glimpses video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to see me make a series on Star Trekker, let me know down in the comments. And as usual, if you liked the video, please hit a like and a subscription to the channel would be Startacular. <laughs> Bye for now, everyone.